I am a product of four grade five in both maths and English and a grade three in both subjects. So do not give up whatever it is that you want, pursue it, fight for it. The sky is the limit. So I attended the Bear Technical at the time and when I was going to school, huh, I just use a subject that I like. So when it comes to maths and English, I don't like those subjects. So those were placed on the back burner, you know? I go to class, I do subjects that I like. I don't, but I remember my teacher, his name is Adrian Sinclair, telling me, girl, you're going to regret not doing maths in school. Also my English teacher telling me, girl, you're gonna regret because I would waste time in those subjects. I would choose the subject that I like to do in those classes right so when i left Vertec and i realized that i wanted to go to teachers college and when i went to bethlehem teachers college they told me i needed maths and english hey what am i going to do now when the teachers warned me that i needed those and i will live to regret it and at that moment i live to regret it so i, I had to go to evening classes and not with a proper mindset so i went to evening class year one year two year three keep trying to do the mat do the mat and i couldn't pass it so as it it relates to the cxc you know right a lot of students did their cxc some of them they were not successful in getting that grade but i just want them to look at me i am now a teacher i i motivate i instill discipline i am passionate about teaching and a couple of years ago I, I wanted the maths and English and I did it five times and at the fifth go I passed both subjects so you know what students do not be deterred by failure failure is telling us that listen we need to buckle up our socks try a different rule try something different in order to propel to II so what I did was in the fifth go I make up my mind because when I look at the prize, the prize was to become a teacher and I realized that you know what, if I don't have maths and English, I cannot go to university. So I, I buckle up, I make up my mind and say, you know what, I have to pass the maths and English. I have to because I want to be a teacher, I want to be a nice, beautiful, good teacher. So I just decided to buckle down man, and I started studying, I started practicing and when I did the subject, I was able to get grade three. I was still not able to acquire one or two, but that helped me to matriculate into university. So I say to you students, do not give up. I am a product of four grade five in both maths and English and a grade three in both subjects. So do not give up whatever it is that you want, pursue it, fight for it. The sky is the limit. I'm not afraid to share my story because when students look up to you, when they see you as a role model and they look up to you, whatever you say to them, they will try to understand. So what I do is I try to I tell them my story. I, 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 I work with them because sometimes they might have a weak student. You give them a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Keep motivating, keep pushing. Tell them what is your purpose in this classroom? What is the purpose for your life? And that is my approach to them and I keep instilling these things into them motivating them and assisting them to get better and do not make the same mistake that I did five times so I am a social media influencer the name on TikTok is ginger18888 yes I go there and I share my different stories I bring humor to the world and I just want everybody to be encouraged be strong and know that we as teachers we do make mistakes we as teachers we do fail and I am being real showing you the real me so that you can know no matter how low you are you can build up no matter how weak you are at the subject it's a mindset you have to build yourself and, and try to uplift yourself and do what is right as i always say let us do the right thing